realizing that that came from them, you know. And so it's you know, hold your loved ones close and and never forget the ones that are lost, you know. It's like, Chitter chatter pass me by. See a little bit fast in the streets. Yeah, I know that it's free. I don't want that belief. I see a cardboard sign. It's a very old hands. It's a very cold hands. Watching everybody pass him by. Why so cool all the time? There's a love in his life. Yeah, I know things are getting better. I'm just waiting for a change in the weather.
I was there. Daydream Farmer. Yes, Daydream. Daydream. Yeah. It's a tough one to believe, right? The fabled Daydream Farmer story. Um, so, where do I start? Um, my dad passed away when I was a kid. I was like seven, and uh, you know, I always felt like a strong a bond with him, that kind of thing. And and uh, you know, through the whole music writing process, I was always kind of curious as to where the hell some of these songs come from, because you know not really the way I am all the time like it's some of the stuff I say doesn't make you know my wife's always like where do you come up with this crap but um so Daydream Farmer I was I was in my room I, had, I was living by myself with some roommates and I was working on a tune I'd had that chord progression written and it's kind of like the jazzy one and I just remember like being on my computer and recording it and trying to figure out kind of like the structure of the song and then I took a nap and I woke up from my nap my roommate came in he's like hey dude play that new song it sounds cool and I was like uh didn't write a new song man sorry and he's like you've been playing it for the last hour like play me the new song I heard you in here and I don't know I guess I blacked out writing the whole thing I wasn't on drugs I was just you know I thought I took a nap I really did, and you know, I, I didn't believe him. We got like a little argument about it. I thought he was just messing with me, and then um, he just opened up my computer, and there was a video of me playing it. And I was like, oh. So I, I actually learned that song watching myself play the song. Right? Yeah, you know, I had no yeah, funny. Yeah. Right, and then later I um. My my cousin, who was really close with my father, had uh, just kind of found out I was I was a musician, and he was um, he was checking out my Facebook that had some of the videos I put up of some of the songs, and he called me. He was like, "Hey man," or he messaged me. He was like, "I need you to call me right away." So I, I called him. I was like, "What's going on?" I don't really talk to him very much. And he's like, "Where did you come up with all these lyrics for these various songs?" And I said, "I don't know, man." Yeah, you know? <laughs> and he was like, well, I have your dad's journal and I'll pretty much like verbatim some of the lines you're saying or what he wrote in it. And, you know, he's, he's like, it's very weird that, you know, you're saying the same stuff. Like, so I can't really take credit for live to love and let go and like all these, <laughs> all these things that people like about my writing because I guess he wrote them first. And I don't really know what to make of it. I don't really think too much into it. I think it's kind of cool, and I think that if it's real, then that's awesome. And, you know, maybe there was some kind of messaging or some kind of channeling or something. Um, you know, my dad was a, a psychologist, and uh, he, he was, like, one of the first, like, past life regression hypnosis therapy, something or other. So he, like, dealt with... You know, kind of like when you're gone, like, what is that? Like, can you still speak to those people and everything? So I found it fitting that, you know, he spent half his life trying to figure out how to communicate between the sides, and then all of a sudden I keep popping up with his words in my songs. So, you know, I think there's definitely something to that. I'm not sure what it is. Great minds think alike. I think it's cool. It could just be that, too. I mean, it could just be that we had similar ideas, but I thought that was cool. So that's Daydream Farmer, and I'll play it. Yeah! Yeah! Fucking favorite song. You want it, you got it. Good then. It would be a pretty cool story if I made it up. Good then. I believe it. You're genius, though. <laughs> Sunshine's as I'm stepping out to start my waking day. I hear the bacon sizzling, smells that throw me back into my memory. I tend to daydream constantly, cause reality is far too dumb for me. It seems that all the 
caring, giving, loving, and living the word against the rain and stop the sky from falling down. It's the energy inside of me flowing about. Live to love and let go while we're still around. Keep our earth in your soul and your soul to the ground. Could be the best reaction if we only spoke the language that screamed out love and peace. This place is screaming while we are just keep ignoring all the signs that we've been given. So change our ugly wings and stop the sky from falling down. It's the enemy inside of me flowing about. Live to love and let go while we're still around. Keep our earth in your soul and your soul to the ground. I shut my eyes to try and stop the chaos building deep within my brain. I create creation to find my satisfaction of a wild world reacting to my inability. One Hinder all the love we have left over Building negative injustice Pouring hate into our names My own solution So block out the pollution Trust my instinct as a human Just sit back, relax, and dream And stop the sky from falling down It's the energy inside of me flowing about Lift to love and let go while we're still around. Keep our earth in your soul and your soul to the ground. Oh yeah.